you yourself represent the intersection so well. You came from the you know, bureaucracy, moved into be a big ticket leader for the corporate world, and then have come into politics full time. Uh, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to note that you know, we have uh, in you three very, very important economic ministers, ministries being banned, and the prime minister has shown tremendous faith in, you know, so to say, giving these roles to top bureaucrats. So the B factor in the Modi government has suddenly become a big play. Does it put some additional pressure on you, or are you happy handling wearing various hats? Modi ji's factor is do factor. <laughs> do. Keep working. Keep achieving newer goals. Don't think small. Think big. That is the B factor. Think big. That is the do factor. Keep doing. Keep, keep executing. But it has helped uh, immensely in bridging the deficit between the bureaucracy and the vision of the government that, you know, it's outlaid over the last 10 years. Has it? Um, having understanding of government does help, definitely. Having understanding of uh, having an economic point of view of things, that definitely helps. Uh, that definitely is a good uh, advantage. Sir, I want to uh, come back a little bit to, we were talking about smartphone manufacturing and we were talking about electronics manufacturing. I want to come back and maybe revisit, uh, you know, the IT hardware like PCs and laptops and certain restrictions that were imposed and then withdrawn. Um, why were those imposed in the first place? Why were they withdrawn? And are we likely to see a greater push towards more non-mobile electronics manufacturing with the upcoming semiconductor manufacturing that you spoke about happening here in India. And if I can add to that, Karthik, you know, uh, obviously it's been a reformist government, the results are for there, everyone to see. But, uh, you know, there are naysayers, but there is at times criticism of the policies being very inward looking, you know. So in that sense, this policy came in, it was withdrawn, the rationale to bring it in and the rationale to withdraw it. I think, Barun, you have to make, make sure that your teams are well uh, attuned to the times. Bhai, aaj already servers ka manufacturing start ho gaya India mein. Laptops manufacturing has already started. Thoda jake cover karo yaar. These are good things which are already happening. It's not a question of inward looking policy. This is a question of Atmanirbhar Bharat. Atmanirbhar Bharat is a way of strengthening our industry the way of using our de design talent, creating a policy framework that encourages these actions. All the policies that we are making are done in consultation with the industry. There were extensive consultations. There are extensive consultations for everything that we do. You have seen when we formulated the DPDP Act, the consultations ran, ran in the access of uh, 40,000 consultations. Telecom bill, 2022 onwards, we started working on it. I would have personally sat through at least 80 of consultations with the industry participants. Whatever we do, whatever policies come out, are basically done absolutely in consultation with the industry, and we are always open to changes. If something is giving a wrong signal, change it. Absolutely, if it has been done, even though it, if it is done with the industry in, uh, uh, in consultation with industry, even after that, if there is a signal which is not correct, then do change you, it. Do you think it did give out the wrong signal, sir? Absolutely not. The industry was very clear on what it meant. Industry was very clear and they were very comfortable with whatever was happening. And they only suggested that, no, modify it like this so that the signal is correct. Okay. And uh, are you happy with the state of manufacturing of these, uh, you know, servers? Absolutely. And it's going very strong. Please go out and cover it. You'll actually find beautiful stories out there. Can I'll we? tell you one. Yeah. I'll tell you one story. In one such manufacturing plant, the person who's working there is a girl from very remote part of Haryana. And she's working on that very complex machine for manufacture of a server. And the confidence with which she's working, phenomenal. Please go out and see, look at those humane stories. They are so inspiring. They are so inspiring, significantly more inspiring than 
any film that you would have seen. So I'm sure there's a and great already human story there. Is there. Sir. Of course. So we should I know. I know there's a great human story to all the manufacturing and the employment it generates, sir. But uh, are we moving on track? What I wanted to arrive at Absolutely was: are we, are we moving, moving on, on track to compete with the level of manufacturing that we are seeing, which require to process artificial intelligence? Will we be in time? to compete with the likes of NVIDIA or Huawei to draw the next phase of growth for India's electronics? Absolutely. Some of the most complex semiconductor chips are designed in India. Mr. Most complex. The biggest semiconductor design talent is in India. One third of the total semiconductor talent is in India. We have tied up with 104 universities ever since we launched the India Semiconductor Mission. We have changed the entire course curriculum. There are now semiconductor focused BTEC programs, MTEC programs, PhD programs, clean room training programs. So there is absolutely a clear path towards India becoming the semiconductor capital of the world in the coming years. Nothing can stop it.